ながら待ってんだから、風邪ひきたいと思うんですよ。Welcome to court with Ken Phillips. Tonight we kick off what is to be four weeks of holiday programming from Unbalanced Load Productions, except for the next two, which feature a hastily edited program featuring Tony Young playing the bass. Golly, it's so slapped together, there should be a contest to count the number of glitches in it. I think at one point Tony is frozen for about 30 seconds. It'll make you long for the days of seeing Cheer Accident play one note for 30 minutes in a public place. Quite. But rest assured, in the coming weeks, you'll be able to tune into the Cool Clown Ground Holiday Special, which is a classic. Actually, they're making me read that. I've seen the show each year and still don't know what the H-E double candy cane it's about. Anyway, there will also be an encore performance featuring yours truly, Ray Reindeer, and a lady who shall be re remain nameless taking calls about Christmas and musicians. It's never easy buying presents for a drummer, so tune in for some helpful hints, along with some foul-ups, bleeps, and blunders. What? Who writes this stuff? I don't recall any foul-ups. These writers are cats. Well, tonight, as I said, sort of kicks off the holiday season and programming, and we are very fortunate to have back one of Santa's reindeer in the studio tonight to take your calls. And I must say again, it's actually a guy named Dave operating a puppet. But Christmas is about fantasy and make-believe, so get in the Christmas spirit, quite. Please welcome back from the North Pole, one of Santa's unsung reindeers, Ray Reindeer. Hey there, Ken, and uh, how are you today? Just fine, Ray. I hope Santa will be delivering me some obscenely high oil prices again this year, so I'm feeling very well, quite. He sure delivered last year, I have a feeling Santa invested heavily in oil futures. I don't think so, Ken. I believe Santa has to file some paperwork with the SEC saying he won't invest in anything. Okay, Ray. We'll keep that on the down low, as they say. Let's get to our topic tonight. Good idea. Folks, with the holiday season underway, it's time we discuss the dangers of obesity. Reminds me of my neighbor. And to illustrate, I want to show you some holiday photos from Thanksgiving. Cue the photos, please. This is me in Medawa with my adopted Filipino family. It's a tax write-off. And there's a, a policeman that came by, told us we were gallivanting and making too much noise. Uh, I believe we have a couple more photos. Uh, yes, there's the, the policeman and policewoman saying to keep it down. Bill Curtis was complaining next door. I'm Bill Curtis. Uh, we had a very fine catered Thanksgiving dinner. There's the Miracle Whip and some macaroni, some eggnog, which you'll see later. Somebody got a little too into that. Uh, yes, it got a little rowdy at the place. Yeah, here's, uh, that was my, my nephew, Harold. He uh, picked an interesting place to pass out uh, with Grandma serving some cookies. I think he was ready to lose his cookies. Um, do we have another picture? I believe... Uh, yes, there's my niece uh, who almost got decapitated when it got a little cold outside. I don't know if that's dog food or vomit or a combination of the two on the ground there. I kept my distance, at least in that picture. Sure wish I was there. I wasn't so lucky here where, where Uncle, Uncle Ferd uh, lost his, his Thanksgiving lunch. 
and I caught a little spatter there. Needless to say, I won't be adopting or inviting these people to Thanksgiving again. You know, we've all heard the Just Say No campaigns to stop drug abuse. We've heard for the Mothers Against Drunk Driving, like the Ma Joneses Against Drunk Driving. But what about gluttony? Heart disease and diabetes will kill more people this year than drinking-related and drug-related deaths combined. Quite. Nearly two-thirds of U.S. adults are overweight, and nearly one-third of U.S. adults are obese according to the National Institutes of Health. The US, number, the U.S. is number one when it comes to mortality due to obesity. Incidentally, Iceland is number one per capita when it comes to mortality due to falling from a wheelchair. Anyway, it's time we started practicing safe eating, and I want to take your calls tonight, along here with Ray Reindeer at 312-738-1845. Ray, do you ever feel pressure to eat foods in high fat and cholesterol? Well, in high fat, uh, yes, Ken, especially around the holiday season. Friends and relatives are enablers when it comes to unhealthy eating. And you know, Santa is quite obese himself, so there's always plenty of fast foods around and bad foods. And of course, Tipper makes quite a spread herself. Santa has a weakness for Oreos dipped in mayonnaise. That should be illegal. Quite. I say running into your neighbor at a local McDonald's should be just as embarrassing as running into them at your local porno shop. What the? I know firsthand the dangers of unhealthy food. Little Timmy has spent years living on spaghetti, beef sandwiches, hot wings, and pizza. And look at him. My God. That's not a picture of health. My son Thor, on the other hand, has always eaten well. He grew up to be Mr. Canada. Do we have a photo? Well, there he is. Now that's some healthy eating. Oh well, a reminder for those of you who want to call in. The number is 312-738-1845. 312-738-1845. And please, no obscenity. There are children watching tonight. Like little Timmy. Do we have a call? Hey, that looks like your brother in that picture. I don't have a brother, but I know who you're talking about. Hmm. Well, it, his diet is just chicken wings and pizza and hamburgers. Are, are we here to alert the public of these dangers of these foods tonight? I think so. I think hey, so. Uh, I think it's our duty, Nintendo although they don't pay us enough. I think there's somebody on the line. What kind of Super Nintendo should I buy? Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Uh, what kind of Super Nintendo should I buy? What kind of Super Intendant? What kind of Super Nintendo should I buy? Uh, One that Ray? has to do with food. Ray, do you know anything about that? I know there's a new Xbox on the market. Uh, I, I can't help Santa you there. Packing those. Can't help you there, Ken. I believe the topic was food. That's right. We have a caller on the line. We have a caller. Your TV set down. Please. You have a call about safe eating. Do, 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 Are you there, do, caller? Do, we don't have much do, time. Do, do, do. You guys are amazing. Yes. Absolutely amazing. How about you, sir? Do you have a call about safe eating? Safe eating? Yes. Would you consider Mr. Beef safe eating? Mr. Beef? Yes. I have to admit, I have a weakness for Mr. Beef. Certainly. Mr. Beef or, and Senor Taco. But, you know, they Senor say taco. everything in moderation. So, as Definitely long as you eat... Definitely Senor Taco in moderation. Excuse me? Definitely Senor Taco in moderation. Can you hear him, Ray? I, I can't hear what he's saying. I can hear him, but he wasn't making much sense. Perhaps if he eated more healthily, he could enunciate better and contribute to this program. Well, you, you're lucky I have to stay on a strict vegetarian diet. I wanted to ask you about that. Like, uh, how did you celebrate Thanksgiving? What kind of foods did you ingest? Well, I had some oat pellets. I had some uh, hay. Yes. And some Brussels sprouts. and. Mm, uh, now, was your, it your, your buddy Thor gave me a couple sugar cubes. That was about it. That's nice. Now, do you have a hard time finding uh, pellets that are low in fat and cholesterol? I mean, do they have a good range of pellets? Well, to tell you the truth, Ray, there could be a lot more flavors in these pellets. Yeah, you're talking to yourself. If we have a caller Dr. on the King. line. Turn your TV Saved by the telephone. <laughs> Do we have a call about safe eating? Actually, this 
chair looks kind of tasty. <laughs> Did you have to travel far for Thanksgiving? Did you ha do you have a do you have a big reindeer family? Uh, Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Get the oatmeal out of your mouth and speak to us, please. Hey. Do you have a? I, I like your show. Yes. Yeah, I love it. I, you know, I just, I just love it so much. Do you have a relevant question for us? I mean, your TV set we'll now. take all the praise in the world, but we want to stay on topic tonight. I think he was edited there, Phelps. I think so. Oh, Jesus. What Number the? One. Ready to talk to do, 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 do. do we have a caller? Maybe Top 40 Tony will call. We have a caller on the line. Yes. Please address your question on healthy eating to myself or Ray Reindeer. Yeah, how good is, how good is Reindeer? You know, I don't want to know what we know the where end he's of that going. comment thank, was. Thank God our crack producer was able to what hit, the matter with hit the mute button quick enough for that Turn one. your TV set down, please. Phelps, you mean that I flew all the way down here from the North Pole for this? Yes. Well, I think as history shows, the smart callers wait. They're a little more patient in waiting for the dimwits to get off the line. They're not going to waste their time trying to Caller. compete. Do, 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 do. I would like to recommend and suggest that whenever you play your show, um, you should probably, you know, put on the show that it's not live, uh, that it's pre-recorded, because I was trying to call and express my views, and that's kind of whack. You this guy calls every time. You know that I can't really express my views yeah, on here because, you know, I'm being fooled, being made to believe like a that it's actually live when it's not. So probably next time you might want to, you know. Put on there that it's pre-recorded. I would like to your suggestions to yourself, buddy. <laughs> you know, you'd think people would have more important things to do, like watching line. Adult Swim, Turn your TV set some down. other program. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Howard Stern. Reynolds. Who? Baba Booey, indeed. See on Sirius. Do we have a serious call? Turn your TV set down. Please. Remember this being more fun last year, Phelps. Well, you know, it is a big travel day. Maybe a lot of our people in our call area are, are traveling back home. Maybe they've all been drinking. Yes, could be. Hola. Getting into the eggnog a little. Hola. Do we have a call? Yes, 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 yes. You have a wonderful show, by the way. Could you? Thank you very much. Could you speak up, sir? Could you tell us a little bit about your what you do to encourage safe eating habits in your home? Yeah, I was wondering why you adjust them as Santa. Uh, you know, we all try to get in the holiday spirit. Even a grumpy old man like myself. Well, actually, the, the producer kind of threatened me to wear this, and he wouldn't pay me otherwise. But Ray here is always in the holiday spirit, given that he's a reindeer. That's right. Well, there's uh, your brother again. As for Timmy, I don't know if he ever gets in the holiday spirit. You know. I believe he's a pizza delivery man, and pizza certainly isn't healthy. Well, well, Ray, why don't we just talk about what our elected leaders are probably eating this year? Maybe crow? <laughs> yes, with the with a healthy dose of pretzels as well that they may choke on. Good, good point. Thank uh, you. And uh, let's hope it's crow rich in calories and high and fat in their case. Down, we could please. we could do without them, I think. Actually, though, we have a call after the meeting. Yes, do we have a call? Hello? Yes? Fuck you. How did that get through? Is that low fat or low cholesterol or. Dipper, you're supposed to be watching the controls. Caller oh. on the line. Turn your TV set down, please. Okay, I will. Hello? Yes. Okay, I had a question. Is about getting it. Is chicken. Uh, better than beef, or is beef better than pork? Because I'm having a problem with eating the pork and the beef and the chicken, and I did, I did really want to know what would be considered good food, good meat to eat, because I do have a problem with the with the gaining of the weight, and you know you eat so much and meat, and the the meat's not good. So I wanted to know what could you eat. Well, in that my home in, in in Medawa, uh, my my. Uh, my uh, in-house maid, who or my, my cook, 
she uses a lot of turkey because we went from beef to, to chicken and then we found if we went from chicken to turkey there's even less fat in the turkey uh, so that you know you, if you have any turkey left over from Thanksgiving you can work that into your pasta <coughs> dishes and what have you excuse us Gesundheit there, right? Um, that's definitely what us humans can do. And now, you know, Ray's in a totally different place because he eats a lot of pellets and hay. Um, Ray, is it has it been hard for you to to really get a low cholesterol, low fat diet and well, still keep your energy? Oh, well, we have been varying our diet, so to say, a little bit, and uh, oh. The boys and I have been munching on some elves every once in a while. They're quite tasty, and they're, uh, uh, they're kind of a light snack. Yes, very light. Doesn't that uh, ruin with uh, ruin your interfere with your boss's productivity? Shh! Don't tell him. He might be uh, you know, monitoring. Turn your TV set down, please. It sounds like we have another caller. Perhaps a smart one. Yeah, what's up? Maybe not. Do you ever? Do you have a relevant call, sir? Yeah, two questions. The first one, how do you feel about the Chicago Bears? Are you can eat bears. Bears are high in fat, but yes. I believe, Phil. I don't watch mundane things like sports, so I really don't know. Uh, do you think the bears eat healthy? I mean, they need a lot of energy out on the field. Do you, do you have any idea what kind of diet they consume when they're not, like, hitting each other with weights and throwing guns at each other on the firing range? I think we lost him. What a problem that is. We have a caller on the line. Do we have a call about safe eating? Do we yeah, have a question? I uh, got a call about chicken. Yes. I'd say when you eat chicken, you got no beef with chicken. <laughs> Good Thank one. Thank you. Henny Youngman's on the line. Are you peering at the dancing noodle anytime soon or zanies? Why does your brother keep coming up on yes, the Yes, he does look there. like uh, Stephen T, but that's actually Tim Jones. Uh, uh, I'd say he never looked better because that's pretty much what he always looks maybe like. Maybe that's what he looked like after a Rush concert. <laughs> or uh, a VOC concert. Now, I keep wanting to ask you something, Ray, but do we have a call? Yes, you have a call. Yes, do you have a Absolutely. question from my... Yes, go ahead. Oh, uh, you guys are doing great earlier, but now you're falling off, man. What's going on here? Well, uh, you can help us out. Hello? Well, you're on the TV, though. I'm just on my phone making fun of you. But we're this just, is an interactive show. Sorry about that, Bells. We're just moderating here. Moderate. The show is only as good as the input of people like you. We're not well, here to entertain. Like we're here to enable. This is and there's Tim Jones. Poop? Clearly, the only person who's fallen off is Tim Jones right there. We're still upright. Ah, uh, he is falling off. Do you have anything to say, or can you just get off the phone so we can get some intelligent calls in? I thought that poop would be proficient for this. this you said something home. about poop? You know, that, that's an interesting area. You know, if you eat more healthily, your poop will probably be more healthy as well. I mean, we all know how painful not eating healthy can be in, in, in that area. I don't want to go any fur, further into that, but that's another benefit of healthy eating is more regular elimination. We have a caller on the line. Turn your TV set down, please. Yes, I did. Hello. 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 Yes, uh, I want to know subconscious. Subconscious? Self-conscious? Subconscious. Maybe if you had a better diet, you wouldn't be so self-conscious. As for me, <laughs> Ray, it's pellets in, pellets out. Ray, uh... I'm Ray, sorry. I wanted to ask you, you have a big day ahead of you when the Christmas time comes, and I've yeah. heard about the Atkins diet, the South Beach diet, uh, I also know the old, I'm kind of old school, I still like to carbo-load, if you know what I mean. I like a lot of pasta. Uh, isn't it hard to find a diet that's not only healthy, but gives you enough energy for that big night when you're dashing and dancing and going all over the country delivering things? Don't forget prancing. Yeah. Uh, well, I, yeah. the whole trick is to make sure you get enough of everything and not too much of anything. There. We're back to moderation, right? That's the key. You can have a little of everything if you just don't have too much of it. Now, if only my neighbor Mario, who's 400 pounds... Oh, you, you don't want to drink too much because you'll get, like, blitzing. <laughs> Very good. Get it? <laughs> Quite. 
Oh, we've been giving oh. him grief for if that. If we for had years. fallen off, we are back on now, my friend. Woo woo. We are in high gear. Yes. We have a caller on the line. Turn your TV set down, please. Yes, caller. Do you have a question about safe eating? Uh, yes, yeah, I do. Yes. Uh, I was thinking, do you think that individuals that have a vegan or a vegetarian diet, do you think that they're suffering from a lack of protein, especially when they eat no meat or no dairy? That's a very good question. That's, that's kind of what I was just asking Ray here. Is my concern is if you don't get enough protein, do you, be kind of, do you become languid or tired and... Well, you can still eat nuts, which are a good source of yes, protein. Yes, yes. Carl, are you still there? You can go on the peanut butter diet. I wanted to ask him if he'd found in his own diet if he had a fall off of energy. Well, not really. I, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian, but I try to limit my carbs. I, I'm not an active diet or anything, but I limited sodas and sugar. But I feel no ir ill effects to that. Yes. You don't you don't feel the effects or no no I don't have any ill effects I've lost about thirty pounds and the only main thing I did was limit my sugar intake by not eating drinking soda right and then exercise a little bit more that's excellent yeah so now are you fearful when the holidays come you may fall off that diet or do you think you have the discipline to keep at it uh, no not really uh, the holidays don't bother me much. I worked on Thanksgiving and I had just one meal and it wasn't that very big of a meal. Excellent. So uh, I well, think the main thing about dieting is like you uh, talked about a few minutes earlier, moderation or uh, with exercise and a lot of water. My biggest thing is to drink a lot of water and not sugar water or even uh, milk in some of your fruit juices are basically sugar water. If you look at the ingredients, when it says high fructose corn syrup, that's pathetic. That's, that's going to make you gain weight. Yes. So just limit your sugar. So uh, a lot of water. I, I try to drink a lot of water, too. Can you have a little gin with that after a while, though? Oh, sure. You, and, don't, uh, you know, gin, gin, gin and water is very good. I would, I would get a little bit of uh, whiskey and water, like right. scotch and water. Excellent. <laughs> Sounds you like you're gin, from a place where they have moonshine. Moonshine, yeah, I did. I've had some moonshine before. Now, did you say you were on the Atkins right now? No, 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 no. Okay. I uh, did a diet. My diet, basically, I, I limit my carbs, but it's not. A, I, don't, I don't follow the Atkins diet. You, okay, but uh, did you say you limit your carbs then, moderation? <laughs> yeah, moderation. Basically. I, I, I have a hard time limiting the bread. They, they, they tell you to limit the bread, like biscuits and muffins, and I just like yeah. those things. Yeah, I, I eat bread. I, I think the, the white sugar, like when I, I don't put it on my cereal or I don't eat a lot of candy, but I'll eat bread, or, but, but not a lot. You know, you, moderation is the key. And, you know, with white sugar, when you're eating, uh, like uh, chocolate bars and things like that. That's not very good. <laughs> but I think bread's fine. You always got to remember the food pyramid. Are you familiar with the food pyramid? I am, but I, I heard they kind of put it on its... They, they flipped it over or something recently. It's more like a rhombus now, isn't it? Yeah, but, you know, it used to be that your breads and cereals were the most things you were supposed to eat. And now they're trying to make it so it's the least. And, you know, I don't know. It's basically, in terms of weight and health, it's your, what you take in, how much you exercise, and your heredity. You know, if you have hereditary problems, such as coming from a family who's overweight with heart problems, chances are you're going to have the same problem. Right. You what? know, that's basically it. Yes. Well, thank you very much. It's very, it's very pleasant to have somebody actually contribute to the program this evening, and we really appreciate it. Well, I, I appreciate you. You have a good evening. You too. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Thanks, thanks for that thrilling call. You know, 
he was probably the most fit hillbilly I've ever heard. Do we have another caller? Yes, we do. Yes. I think he was from Indiana, but you know, on the line. he What's sounded, he sounded you, very hip. His voice sounded healthy. How's your tummy felt? You seem to be rubbing uh, Yeah, it I have a little indigestion. Maybe if I was uh, heeding the advice of that last caller, I'd be feeling a little better. He, he sounded very fit. I mean, uh, that, that, that shows all you out there in TV land or out there, out there in the viewing audience that you can participate and you can beat this obesity thing. There are way too many fat people on the streets and that fine gentleman that called a minute ago, he should be given some kind of award because he's following a program that makes a lot of sense. Do we have another caller? I do believe he was from Indiana. Um, he had a nice down, accent. Please. He reminded me of some of my relatives, and that I mean that in a good way. Um, that sounds neat there, Phelps. I think in honor of him, I, we might try to do the rest of the show with a little twang in our voice. Do we have another caller? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Can yeah. you enlighten us with some information? Yeah, you gotta pay cash. He only sells them in pairs. Uh, do you have a question about... Yes. We have a caller on yes. the line. Uh, in honor of that man, there's only one person that has given us some sound advice, but he sounded like he had a twang, so everybody calling now has to give us a little bit of a twang in his honor. Can you ask your question in a twang, sir? No twang? Did we scare you? I think you scared no. me. What's the matter? Twang got your tongue? Do you know I could get a new Xbox 360? I don't think there's any way you could speak with a twang. Do you have a call about? Do you have a question about safe eating, sir? How much do On you weigh? Oh, Turn your TV set down, hungry, please. Well. Hello. Yes. Yes, I have a, I have a question. Uh, is it good to eat tamales, uh, you know, around this time of uh, year? Did you call when we had a program on public transportation? No, 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 no. I'm calling about this one. Calling, I have a question for this show. Okay. I, about tamales. You sounded it, like the man that was set on fire. We were just checking. Oh, uh, 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 I don't know. That's a, that's a whole other show. Oh, that was another show. You're right. Well, um, I don't know a whole lot about tamales. I know I like... You know, again, in moderation, I have one occasionally. There are a lot of spicy foods in tamales. There's a lot of flour. There's a lot of salsa. Excuse me? I've been to Tijuana, and, <laughs> and I remember about half of the trip. But uh, I I'm curious if you can make a good low-fat, low-carb fajita or tamale. Have you had that experience, sir? Hello? Somebody better check the L. He might be on fire. Hi. 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 I'm Sam. You're Sam? I'm Sam Mason. Sam, you am? Yeah. Yeah. What, what kind of food do you eat, Sam? Well, I do you eat them in a box? Do you eat them with a fox? <laughs> he, he is low cow, Sam. Sam, he am. I believe that's all we have time. I'd like to thank the one hillbilly caller for giving us at least some knowledge of how a safe diet can work. And Ray, I hope you can continue to find some low-cal pellets. Hello? Well, thanks hey. for having me here.